For this tutorial, we'll first take three measurements. So measurement one is your wingspan, which is from one wrist across your body to the other. And mine was 150 centimeters. Measurement two is your wrist circumference. So just wrap your measuring tape around your wrist and mine was 17 centimeters. And measurement three is just the length of one arm up until your shoulder from your wrist and mine was 50 centimeters and using measurements one and two we're going to create a rectangle and set measurement three aside for now so here is the fabric i'll be using i've just folded it in half and it's stretchy cotton jersey sort of material you can use whatever fabric you have as long as it's stretchy it will be fine so here with my piece of fabric folded in half, we're going to cut out a rectangle and the length of that would be your wingspan or measurement one divided in half, then plus your seam allowance. So mine would be 150 centimeters divided by two, which is 75 centimeters and plus my seam allowance, which is one centimeter. So my length would be 76 centimeters. And for width, it will be measurement two, your wrist circumference, plus two times your seam allowance. So my measurement two was 17 centimeters and two times my seam allowance would be two centimeters. So 17 plus two would be 19 centimeters. So the width of my rectangle would be 19 centimeters. So here I'm just using my pencil to mark out my rectangle so I can cut out my fabric. So here's my faint line and I'm going to go ahead and cut it out with some sharp scissors. Once you've gotten your really long rectangle, you're going to go ahead and overlock all four edges. So that's this edge, the bottom edge, this edge, as well as that edge over there. And if you don't have an overlocker, you can use the zigzag stitch on the sewing machine. That would um, work fine as well. So once you've done all the overlocking, you're going to go ahead and fold in the width of your rectangle and then using some pins, you're going to pin it down. So I'm just going to fold it over by my seam allowance, which is a centimeter, but I won't be measuring this. I'll just eyeball it. Just like that and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other um, edge and then you're going to go ahead and with your sewing machine do a zigzag stitch across the edge. So this is one of my edges done and I'll do the same thing on the other one now and here is my other edge now you're going to fold um, your piece of fabric right sides facing together like this and then you're going to place a pin where measurement 3 will be so my measurement 3 was 50 centimeters so I placed a pin 50 centimeters from this edge and you're going to do the same with the other edge so place a pin 50 centimeters from the other edge and then you're going to pin along this edge down here and then you're going to straight stitch down the bottom edge all the way to where measurement three is so this is what it looks like and now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so i've just done the straight stitching on both sides and now we can flip over our little bolero so just from the center you're going to turn it inside out with the right side facing out and there you have it your very own little bolero 
and now this is something extra that you can do if you want to so if you don't want the seams to be like showing when you wear it you can um fold the edges of this in like this and then um just do a straight stitch along the bottom if that makes sense so you just fold this edge and then same thing for the top edge but you absolutely don't have to do that. This is your bolero finished and I'll be trying it on in the next clip. So this is how my little bolero turned out. I think it's so cute. I'm in love with the print of this and it's just perfect for the weather right now because it's like, it's like we're in summer, but it's not that hot, but also it's too hot for jeans. So it's like, what do I even wear? Anyway, this is the final look. So um, yeah, if you guys do make this, you can always tag me on Instagram. I love seeing all your creations and I'll also leave my Instagram down below. And if you've got a question or just something you want to say, um, you can also leave that in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!